and he's been doing he was doing the same dances for for like 30 years and looked the same he did the same stuff he sounded the same like like he was never going to get old and i was like but i'm getting old i'm changing i'm evolving i'm not who i was in 1997 why would you want to be who you were in 1997 what pride is that is there in that there is none so anyway with that being said i would say that one area that tyler and i did definitely aligned on and agreed on is that it's not wise to be flashy and loud with your money right um but eventually with a guy like tyler you know people figure it out they know he's got money and then you know even myself like i i can't pretend to be broke right so people people know right uh but so so the other thing we mentioned we talked about was the Medea dress. I remember I didn't even ask him about this. He brought this up. I, I was just listening. When I talk to people, I just tend to listen. I don't really feel like I should be talking the whole time. And he started bringing up the Medea dress and he said, I hate them. I hate wearing that dress and I'm going to stop wearing it or something. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, right. Because you've made you've made hundreds of millions of dollars wearing that dress. Why would you take it off? You're you in, you're in now with both feet. So <laughs> like, I wouldn't wear the dress. I don't like the dress. I don't like personally. I don't like the 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 broad, vast emasculation of the black male where they got all the black men wearing dresses. I did a count. I counted. I did it with my wife. I said, look at how many black men in Hollywood have worn dresses. And then I told I tested people. I said, nay, I said, I can name 10 or 12 at least black male actors who who worn dresses in the last five to 10 years. I said, give me 10 white male actors who've done the same thing. Prominent, famous super famous white males and people couldn't really give me 10 and then think about this this is very strange because there's far more white males in hollywood than there are black men so it should be easy you should be able to find like 60 right but you can't and and, and when they did they would have to they would pull up people like mrs doubtfire from and i'm like but that movie was made in like what was it 1993 <laughs> you, you got to go back that far to you know so so again it's i i think that there's something to it um if you lo- know history if you read books like powernomics Black Labor, White Wealth by Dr. Claude Anderson. He tells you there's a whole history of of the black male being loved and appreciated when he appears either as a as a, a feminine creature or either as feminine, a female or uh, or a child or ignorant, very ignorant, childlike, very non-threatening. Uh, that those are the things that make people feel um, comfortable with these men. But so when you show up and in, in that that your black son is masculine and intelligent and also ambitious like focused and ambitious those are three things that will make him very threatening that's just the reality when he shows up with his testicles in check and he's got testosterone in his body and and, and ambition in his eyes and intelligence in his brain he's going to instantly be defined as being dangerous i i'm i i I'm, i proudly say that i'm proud that i've been defined as one of the most dangerous black men in america but that's okay because i follow i i love people like Louis Farrakhan, who also is seen as dangerous. Dr. Claude Anderson is seen as dangerous. I want to, ha- I, I don't want to hang out with the safe people. I want to be around the dangerous people because the dangerous people are the ones who have a chance to win. So anyway, with that being said though, let's, so let's talk about Tyler and his video. Okay. So I'm going to play it one more time because I want us to kind of analyze this from some different perspectives. And again, we'll also do it in a way that's not, um, I don't, I don't feel the need to degrade or attack Tyler. I'm not here to do that. I told you the things that I like about what he does and who he is. I think that he, he understands it. A lot of the things we're talking about, about building your own, I completely get that. Um, uh, but I wouldn't do it the same way as him. So let me play the clip one more time. And we're kind of, we'll kind of ice out some of the financial, uh, lessons in this conversation. There's some little subtleties here that I want to point out to you. 